Greetings to you. Really. Okay. Then we will start with the Tai Chi. I think we are performing a little recap of what we have learned so far in the Beijing form this year. And then jumping to the, of course, not jumping. We, we are slowly going deeper with the second snapshot, I think. Last time we had the first snapshot very deeply. Maybe just with the arms. We will see. The beginning of the Beijing form. Up to the brushing your knee. Just as a recapitulation. Narrow stance. And free breathing cycle. Cycles. In the same manner as we've done so far. That's it. That's what we have learned <laughs> in this year. And maybe I don't like um, this approach, but for some of you it might be helpful just in the basic standing position or relax your knees. It's very important in the standing position and then just the movement of the arms without rotating the hip. Of course you can a little bit rotate. And relax. Because for some of you this might be very helpful and that's an ordinary way of teaching, you know, in the Tai Chi studios around the world. To get familiar with the arm movement. But 
for me it's really challenging to relax the lower body while just moving the arms. You know. My awareness is really more in the lower body than in my arms. Shoulders, loose shoulders. And of course, in the beginning, this might be a good approach. As you know from last from the last session last sessions even we are going very deep into the snapshots ah, let's do the snapshots one snapshot one snapshot one snapshot ah, a little bit complicated snapshot because it's one and opening in the hip and the other side is the next snapshot. One snapshot, one snapshot. I'm changing the uh, usual angle. One snapshot, one snapshot, and so forth. And now going deeper, developing some kind of but these are yoga asanas really yes we are developing them but they are i think they are just variations of ordinary known yoga poses you know you know might know this one or that one or even with a uh, or this one so there's not so much difference with this one you know and this one these are all s slight variations we have done this last week okay and then the next one is nearly the the archer you know nearly not not it's a variation of the archer you know relax relax in the front leg and keep the awareness lower hip to the front Yes, we have done it last week also ah, for the completeness other side for symmetry These are really comfortable and they are um, nearly known yoga asanas, yoga poses, but the most difficult is really this coming back to your um, back standing leg, former standing leg. 
and feeling comfortable within it, with it. That's it's really complicated. But it's important, you know, if you are feeling that there is something strange happening, uh, of course, without pain, you know, but if you're feeling here something strange, something weird, look closely, try to relax. And as long as, it, as it's acceptable, this weird feeling, stay with it. Of course, move a little, try a little, you know. And the answer will come by itself, sometime, somehow. On the other side, this one, this one, we have, there are two times with this, back standing leg they are both strange not so relaxed of course there's really all your weight in the back leg rotating the full way back so my knee was with weight a little bit tilted as I corrected my hip more to the outside more to the direction of the foot tip immediately you, you, you could feel a release of tension and still a little bit too much. I really try to relax everything in this position. And one more time, one time with the snapshots. Okay. This should be the easy one, because there's no ch change in direction of your hip for the first snapshot. Then coming to the front, okay, that's also okay. And then this one, yes. You know this already, it's a part of our walking exercise. Much better, much better. So it was my laziness in, in rotation, uh, coming to the front and not really coming the, ho the whole way back t with your hip to the back, just in the middle, and then you have the strain in the knee, which is causing, causing pain, or if it's not so extreme, a weird feeling in your lower body. And if you're looking closer, you know, I had a, f a strange, weird feeling in my lower body starting from here middle chest to my calf muscle and then i had a look deeper look i'm not looking i'm feeling you know deeper feel what is happening here and then the location was coming, 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 ever 
little bit closer from the area of my body it was the hip okay the hip to the front ordinary and then a little rotation and that's that uh, was the release of tension and that's what we are learning you know that's something you have to learn because that's body perception now, in the beginning, in the first three or six years or something, I can uh, see it from the outside and there are ordinary mistakes, if you like, or problems in the beginning and that's okay if you have a teacher, but it's not the form for this and that, you know? It's really becoming aware of your bodily feelings and the inner smile, you know. Tying, tying this bodily perceptions with the inner smile is very helpful. Because when you feel your pose, the inner smile is coming by itself because it's learned that way you know this pose is feeling this way tied to the inner smile and that's something you are training and now collecting the chi nice and thank you for performing with me and normally now we should sit around for at least 20 minutes meditation session but not today <laughs> of course you know it already Good nutrition, good night rest, or healthy nutrition, good night rest. Your own meditation practice. The schedule, you know already the schedule. Next week on Wednesday, 1 p.m. English stream. 
at 7 p.m. It's a um, German streamed meditation session on Saturday 1 p.m. streamed a German Tai Chi Qigong yoga session and at 3.30 another meditation session also in German. Okay. Have a nice Wednesday until 7 p.m. if you like. Otherwise, greetings to you. Cultivate your inner smile. Stay calm, kind and mindful. Yes. Sunny day.